uh, did get left in Orlando at 5 a.m. I apologize for that. I have to tell you, this has been the most humbling experience of my career, and it really has been. When we put out the call to see who wanted to come up here and make their voices heard and stand up for good government and make sure our elected officials knew that we were paying attention to them in this session, not only did we get several calls, we got flooded with calls. Not only did we fill one bus, we filled eight buses. So thank you so much. Now, for those of you who didn't ride buses, let me give you a quick snapshot of what this, what this day has been like. Can you raise your hand if you got on a bus at 10 p.m. last night? 3 a.m. this morning. 3 a.m. this morning. 4 a.m. this morning. Jacksonville. 5 p.m. yesterday. I have been amazed at the lengths in which individuals will go to to make sure their voices are heard. And that's what AFP is all about. That's who AFP is. You are AFP. You are AFP because you're here letting your members know that you're paying attention to them. More so, you're going to keep them honest. How many of y'all like that for our slogan for this session? Keep them honest. We've heard over and over and over again during this last campaign cycle that we are going to stick to our basics. We're going to have lower government, lower taxes, more freedom. And now is the time when we're out here doing this today and we're going to be doing it throughout session that we say to them, that wasn't rhetoric. That was a promise you made to us voters, and we want you to keep it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we have a lot of aggressive policies happening, happening and coming forth this session for issues that matter to Americans for Prosperity and for you. We've got issues of the budget. We have issues of pension reform. We have issues of education and school choice. Where can you get information about these bills and follow them? And not just weekly, but daily. You can do that at KeepEmHonestFlorida.com. And if you have a hard time remembering it, we have lots of free t-shirts and posters and bumper stickers for you here today. KeepEmHonestFlorida.com is where you can go for your one-stop shop of not just finding out about bills, but writing your members, telling them that you're paying attention. We had, how many of y'all wrote your member about high-speed rail? Karen, thank you for that, for leading that effort. We had 2,400 emails in three days. And they're still going. I, now, I don't know how far people have to be down in their email box to just be getting the message we sent a week ago, but they're still going all the same. And I really appreciate that. So that's who we are. We're you guys. We're the activists, the people on the front lines from every Tea Party group and every organization. We're a coalition. This isn't about the Tea Party patriots or the Freedom Works or the Amer Americans for Prosperity or any of the larger organizations. It's about you in your hometowns letting your elected officials know that you are holding them accountable. And all the rest of us are going to work together and play nice and we're going to make sure it's your voices, your voices that are in the media, your voices that your elected officials know are going to show up and cast that ballot on election day. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, this means tough choices. This means not doing uh, not even holding them accountable by partisan lines. We saw with the high-speed rail, the letter to Secretary LaHood, 16 Republican state senators who turned their back on us and asked the federal government for money we didn't need or want. Again, you guys took that opportunity to write them and call them and hold them accountable for that letter and their actions. And I want you to know, not only are we watching the ones who, who did that, we want to thank and applaud the ones who came over and saw the light. We thank Senator Herodopoulos. We thank Senator Greg Evers. We thank Senator Benacquisto. And we thank Senator Mike Bennett. Because they took their name, Herodopoulos didn't sign it, but the other three took their names off that letter. And that is a sign of someone who sees the light. One of my favorite sayings, or Dirksen, when I feel the heat, I see the light. And you guys are that heat, and y'all brought that heat for us. So I really and sincerely appreciate it. One last thing. How many of you have cell phones? Cell phones? Raise them quickly, quickly. Okay, I'm about to get ganged off here, and I don't, I'm not going to tip off Robin. If you text 24747, I'm going to repeat it one more time, 24747, the word support, if you want to stand with Governor Walker and say that you believe in smart pension reform, smart union reform, and smart and good government, that number again, take out your phones, do it right now, it takes 30 seconds, support, text the word support to 
247. And thank you so much for having me, and thank you for all you do to make this country great. It really is all about you.